how far will Liam go to avenge his father's death, and will he be able to find his way back? That's a very good question. Yeah. So, will Liam find his way back? I'm not going to answer that right now, because you'll see that over the course sure. of the season. But Liam will go to any extent to take Robert off the throne. Okay. He feels that Robert shouldn't be there. He feels very upset about his father's death. And more than anything, he's driven. And, you know, it, it's very hard to, to drive a, a one-man ship without your family beside you, without your mother, without your sister. Um, and when there's only one man left, and that's the devil standing in your corner, that's all he has. So right. it was fun to play this season. And so, like, uh, go from, like... It's a, it's yeah. a great arc. I mean, because you, you before, were, like, you know, the total golden good boy the whole I time. Know. And mm -hmm. it's, like, all of a sudden now, like... I, I mean, even Eleanor has, like, It's a bit of know, a switch yeah. from Eleanor and Liam. No, and Eleanor is now, like, super good or something. Yeah. You're like, not the you problem know. child. Yeah. That's it. Well, We've had a bit of a... Yeah, you switched. Sometimes you yeah. fight fire with fire. Right. And you guys are twin Like, on the show, you guys are twins. That's right. So, like, yeah. now you're That's switching right. over from, like... That's you're right. now the good person. Yeah. You're the you're the bad guy now. We did now. switch. We did switch yeah. roles. Is yeah. that is that because you guys can't be on the same wavelength? Is that I like? Think, I mean, I don't know. I think I, it's happened organically. Yeah, it's just sort of just yeah, it? kind of. I mean, Eleanor's just sort of tried to get a get herself together. She was mature earlier, yeah. I think, than boy twin, yeah. and boy twin That's now nice. is coming into his manhood. Interesting. Yeah, I, it's a. I, I feel very fortunate to have played that character arc. Is, I did feel like Liam was good, and he wasn't really getting him anywhere. So right. it was almost he was too good. He was always too good. Too good so, for his own good. Exactly. Sometimes I, yeah. being being bad is fun. I think that's the, also the same with Eleanor. Eleanor was being bad, and it wasn't getting her anywhere. So she tried to, to be good. Yeah. Right. It's kind of literally. It's uh, interesting how how they need that, you know, yeah. to like kind of just change it up, see what happens now, right? Mm. All right. Um, okay. So Elizabeth, we've seen Helena be this manipulative. Even borderline evil, right? Um, now that Robert is in power and she kind of doesn't, you know, have any, like she doesn't, she almost doesn't feel needed anymore, right? And, you know, we've seen her be vulnerable at times, especially with regards to her children and, you know, even be good in those, in those instances. Will we see a more vulnerable, better Helena? I, to be honest, season four, I wouldn't say Helena is better or more vulnerable <laughs> i think she's um she's she's a she's frustrated i mm -hmm. think she she definitely has less power here than she had right. before she was the queen she's now the queen mother and it doesn't sit well with her and also i think because you know she loves her sons and thinks they're great and i think she's now realizing that you know she has she's probably spawned the devil in um, Robert, and that's really hard for a mother to realize. Yeah. So she's fighting on so many elements, and I think as the season progresses, she really does question how well, but at, right at the beginning, Robert says, I don't understand why everybody always thinks the worst of me. And she said, well, I think the worst of you because I taught you everything yes. you know. Right. That's and very, we know at that yeah. moment that yeah. she's begun to think, what have I done? Mm -hmm. uh, because because I think with, with Helena, she did do a atrocious things, obviously, in the first few seasons. Right. But she always did it for the greater good. Uh -huh. So when something bad was orchestrated by her, you could see that she was putting her family and the monarchy first. Unfortunately with Robert, he does bad things, but we're not sure that he's right. really putting anyone first but himself, right. which kind of like Cyrus didn't well. do. Right. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think it's a difference, and I think she's really questioning what kind of mother she's been. Uh -huh. So it's a little tough for her. And she does feel a bit like a spare part, because mm -hmm. Robert isn't using her like she hoped he would. Which is why she found, finds television, you know? Yeah, right? exactly. So it's a little, <laughs> so yeah, she, yeah, she watches bad TV by herself. Listen, and she's bored, and she there. does other things when she's bored too. <laughs> yeah. You know, she raids, she raids um, her daughter's drugstore. There aren't any though, because she's given up. She's furious yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. She goes through a little black book and calls yeah. up some old friends. She does all sorts of things to try and divert herself. And these are the stories that, you know, go off sideways from the main thrust, which right. is, of course, what's happening to the monarchy. Right. What's Robert going to achieve? Is he going to stop him? And what's happening yeah. to Alex's character along the way, who's, you know, involved in all of it because we're all her family. Speaking of old friends, are we going to see the, ch the Lord Chamberlain again? Um, I forgot his name, but... Spencer. Spencer, yeah. Are we, is he going to come back or is Spencer, Robert ban banished him forever? I think Robert's got rid of him. Like, but there like are rid people of him, like, to take his this place. kind of rid of, or like, you know, just... I don't think he's dead. Okay. Uh, 
No one's ever well. really not dead. A, not a, not <laughs> in our show, nobody dies. Right. Well, that's, that's a good anybody yeah. can yeah. come exactly. back. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, but at um, any moment, unless they, they're actually dead, they're not really dead. He right. was replaceable. Yeah. And I think he's been replaced. Yeah. He has been firmly yeah. replaced. Well, actually, um, Elizabeth has a new, well, a newish love interest. Several. 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 But one is um, um, a friend of mine, Toby Salmon. Okay. And he did an excellent job at this season. And uh, you had your first on screen, or he had his first on screen kiss with you. Pretty he good. Did. He's Pretty a fabulous good. actor. He was in season three playing Sebastian. Mm. Ah. And um, he, he, he comes back in season He's four. wonderful. He's yeah. great. Yeah. He's I love the same person. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. yeah. I love seeing Queen Helena get. I, I think you did some great comedy this season. Like, there were some very funny moments where you're just sort of bored and getting up to all sorts of things. Helen is sort of light relief. I actually. love yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Which I'm, is fantastic. I mean, I feel funny. like even in your dark moments, that was also light relief. I feel like you kind of play that as well, that comedy aspect. But she's the oh, Not so much you when you were the good guy, because, like, I, I mean, there's not, there's not much. There's I want funny to do more it. comedy, but they right. keep writing the very hard, intense things. And, I, and I, I read the script, and it's Liam pulls a gun on his brother, or <laughs> yeah. Liam, you know, stabs there's nothing somebody. Funny or about that. Liam does something. <laughs> Awful, you know, and right. I, I think, well, maybe I could turn this into a light moment. Can I somehow? Right. No. And I get on set, I'm like, you, no. You can't turn a William, gun into this a is, light moment. This is, this is, this is, this is dark, right. and you have to play it real. So. Yeah, no, of course. But I, I do relish those those moments. I, I'm sure you relish your moments to do the comedy, and I, I do relish the moments to do the, the very yeah. intense scenes. You know, it's a. Uh, it's all good. I think that's she's what the romantic. Yeah. And you have the yeah. romantic. She's, the, yeah. she's yeah. always the emotional romantic. Right. Yes. Mixed sort with of, a mess. Yes. Yeah, but she's but you're got, not a mess anymore. She's emotional. She is very emotional, Eleanor. I think. I mean, she's good. She's right. without any doubt a good person. She's the only she, one that we really know is really yeah. good. Well, I mean, I think we're all. I, I think we're also lucky because we get to play all of those parts. Like, wouldn't you say like, we all get to play yeah. a, bit, a bit of comedy? Yeah. And there's heavy drama, and right. so we're, we're so fortunate and grateful to play these characters because they're just so much juice, and right. every script's different. Yeah. Um, I don't think you can say that about every show. So we're yeah. very lucky. Yeah. Okay, now going to your love interest. It seems to be a running theme, but like maybe it's because this is, you know, catered to an American audience, but it keeps being like, you know, you, royal family with the commoners. The help. You know, Always. the help, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Which Robert despises, even Always. though he kind of was with Catherine at one point. Right. He was yeah. the help. So, what is, so explain to me what is this obsession with like. You it was know, our writer's obsession. <laughs> yes. We kept saying, is there any chance we could date a prince? Mm -hmm. right. Or it, it makes it more complicated, right? Princess? I guess it's just because they're you always. Always! Them. I was yes. like, always? Can't he fall in love with a Danish princess? No. Why does it have to be barmaid? Does, does it make it more of like a tense situation because, you know, you have all this intrigue? I guess, yeah. yeah. I think it's the upstairs, Sneaking downstairs. Around, yeah, yeah, the obsession with upstairs, downstairs. People yeah. love it when the, they cross. But yes, you're right. There's an awful lot of upstairs, downstairs. And in even our, show. The, our characters love the, the kind of mystery yeah. of the people that are so different to them, right? I think that's why Ellen is so. Obsessed with Jasper, but it is everyone was you're obsessed right. with was Jasper. well. Now, I mean, that's even, weird. even Robert. You're right. Yeah. Even Robert. Everyone. everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So, I'm Cyrus. <laughs> we can only have sexual relations with people on the payroll yeah. who work in the right. in our house. Yeah. Listen, I mean, it makes sense. Like, and then we always get such stunning like staff right? that you know it's hard to. Yeah, they don't yeah. like movie stars. Mm -hmm. well. Beautiful staff at the palace. So this is interesting to me that you know this whole show is basically about you know. The royals, right? And the royals in England is really just like this kind of a ceremonial, like figurehead type situation. It's they don't really have any power. I mean, not since I mean it's been many, many you know decades, hundreds of years, hundreds of years yeah. since like Oliver Cromwell, since you like had right. real, you know, power there. Um, so why, why, you know, why is this fictional family, this you know specifically Robert, why is he so obsessed with? you know, consolidating power when, like, there's really no power to consolidate? I mean, obviously in your world it's a little bit different, but I'm just curious, like, why, like, what is, you know, what, what does he hope to gain being the king? Like, what is he gon going to actually do besides get whatever he wants? I like, think he wants to be Henry VIII. I think he mm. wanted absolute power again, which is yeah. obviously yeah. absurd that right. it could possibly happen in real Especially life. Especially in an age when... Like, but he, right. Yeah, I mean, he dissolves the government yeah. Yeah. and takes power back, which, you know, in... I mean, my goodness, I mean, it, obviously it would start a revolution if that happened right. in exactly. real life. Because yeah, we would. <laughs> Prince Charles would be about to be our, you know, yeah. our, I feel our like, true figurehead. Yeah, I feel like there's many. I don't. I, I don't know exactly how the politics in England, but I'm sure there are many people who don't even want the monarchy there. And like, you know, how many people would, you know, especially with democracy, like, why would they be okay with that? Is he trying to create a situation where? <laughs> 
the people will be okay there with that. There actually <laughs> is. It does create a situation. I think you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. can dig too deeply on this. Um, but, I mean, I, I've yes. watched a few screeners. So, I mean, I yeah, we can't, bit, we can't yeah. tell you too much. Yeah, I know you're not, you're not going yeah. to tell change, but I'm just saying, like, is that something that he... You know, is he trying to like find a way to consolidate power? Absolute He's trying power. to, yeah. 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 I mean, I guess it's a matter of whoever's wearing the crown is what they're yeah. going to do with it. And Robert is, as you will see in this season, a very um, twisted and um, yeah. driven Robert, character who he doesn't want. Yeah. He, he doesn't stupid, want the monarchy though. to be a figurehead. He, yeah. he doesn't. No. He wants clearly not power stupid. Back. Yeah. No, he tries. He does try to. He tries to rally the people in a very interesting way. Yes. And the way he consolidates the power within the within the the people of England is, is very very clever mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the great things about our show there are many many reveals and twists and turns and mysteries right. and mm. you know we we set something up and then twist it on its head and Robert mm -hmm. is a is a is a master at chess right um, which he learned from his father so mm -hmm. you know we we see how he rallies the British people into following him Right. You know, uh, no one should confuse our show with real life. Of course, yeah. it's, it's a fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, th I'm sure there are people who do that who be like, "Ooh, look, this yeah, royal family." We are fiction. Yes. Well, speaking of speaking of you know fiction, do you base your characters on any actual royals? No. Like, no, like no. any 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 royal figures. No, no, past not or in present. Any way. No. I mean, Robert I mean, could you, be based on I Henry feel like, VIII. you know, William yourself, well. do you base it on Prince William? <clears throat> well, you know, I think there's something interesting in the Prince William and Prince Harry dynamic within Robert and Liam. I do like the fact that Liam's a little rebellious and sort of has the, you know, he, he has his finger up to a lot of people a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. And I, when Harry was younger, Harry sort of had that rebellious you're mentality both as well. Yeah, and you're, yeah. You're, you know, you're sort of, and I, I like that about Harry. And I liked, actually, that's what I liked about Liam, was that there is a rebellious quality and right. there is a sense of self. There is a sense of I am my own person within this, within this, um, you know, patriarchy. Well, obviously, it's a matriarchy in the UK, but. Um, <laughs> yes. You know, I in this situation, yeah. and I, I feel, yeah, that's why I, I actually did really connect to Liam, and I connect to Harry in that way. I think mm -hmm. that, that's why people like him because he does, he's very real. He, right. he is his own person. You know, he is very strong about what he wants and what he's going to do, and mm -hmm. the, the organizations in which he's going to help, right. and the people that he dates, mm -hmm. um, which yeah. is, which is great. You yeah. know, and, and I love that in Liam as well. So is he going to be with Catherine now? Is that, is that like, I mean, obviously Ophelia, like. That's kibosh, like that's not gonna happen. Yeah. But like I know. you know, which is so sad because I loved Ophelia personally. But so Catherine, is that where this is going? Are are you I mean obviously no no spoilers. There but, are no spoilers. But in the but last episode there's we we're not gonna spoil it, but there's one hell of a good twist. I mean I love spoilers, mm, so there's there's there is a wonderful <laughs> twist. Well I think she's in a difficult situation. She has a prince and a king after her, so you know, it's a big question for a young girl. Well, I mean she was quite a position. La last yeah. season he was kind of a you know what to her so he was but still I mean she didn't behave that well as well she didn't she wasn't yeah. that you know I mean there are a lot of unanswered questions which some do get answered this season and some don't okay I feel yeah. like that always is the case right I know it's it's always always keep, keep it exactly. going and it's like yeah. no we want answers <laughs> exactly. it's enough already exactly. um I think that that's oh one last question Series okay. final. Yeah. Let's talk about your wardrobe. Okay, obviously your wardrobe is much boring. more boring to boring, yeah. according to Royal Protocol. Yeah. Yours is not. Like mm -hmm. neither Helena nor nor Eleanor's. Explain to me why I, I obviously you're not the costume, you know, wardrobe person, but explain to me how their clothing contributes to their character, even though it's not exactly royal protocol. Oh, I think completely. It's really important. I mean Mm -hmm. I work really closely with someone that does just my costumes on this. Um, he's a stylist I've worked with forever. And it matters enormously. I can never have, I can never imagine playing the scene until I know what Queen Helena is going to be wearing. Mm -hmm. It just yeah, it's makes, yeah. it really makes a difference because yeah. it's how you stand, it's how you sit. Right. You want to know mm -hmm. how constricted you are in the sort of formality of your costume. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it really makes a difference to how you act in a scene in something like this. When you are meant to be playing, you know, the figurehead of the, right. of the nation, yeah. you know, it's, it's so not it's like usual for us. It's a promiscuous version of, you know, the figurehead of the nation, right? Yes, but you need to, you know, women often use clothes as intimidation, and mm -hmm. that's very important in right. a lot of Helena scenes. Right. And it's very important, I would guess, in your scenes, oh, is, yeah. that you've yeah. broken down the, you don't want to intimidate, you want to try right. and be more easy. 
Helen is my character is the opposite. She doesn't want to be easy. She doesn't right. want to make people feel at ease. She wants to intimidate right. them. Yeah. Whereas Alex wants to look like she's part of youth and isn't right. stuffy yeah. and set up there. The complete opposite is right. important to us. But I mean, it's interesting because, like, you know, the your previous clothes from previous season, seasons when you were more strung out mm -hmm. seemed more strung out. But I feel like the wardrobe really hasn't shifted that much now that you've come to this like new Eleanor's wardrobe. Yeah. Um yeah, it's uh I mean, I guess Eleanor's it's a it's a big part of her character the way that she dresses herself every day. I mean, it, she's very heavily accessorized Actually. and it's 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 part of her personality. It's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, I've always seen it as though she she throws on what she's feeling. So, you know, if she's feeling like it's Eleanor wants to kind of kick some stuff into gear you know it's going to be a lot of leather and boots and things like that and then you know but there are moments where she's feeling vulnerable and she pulls out you know a vulnerable dress when she's with Jasper or yeah. you know it's she's very expressive of of um it's quite you know, clever too yeah it is clever. It's interesting that both me as a real person and my character we like her <laughs> on the rare occasions she's dressed as a princess mm. so I yes, like you do I like, like what you wore at the coronation when okay. you're in a baby blue Cinderella yeah. dress that's mm. how E. Hurley and Queen Helen that like her looking. <laughs> and so it really actually works because, you know, I'm a generation above and we want them to look pretty and nice. She yeah. doesn't want to. Right. But sometimes like, yeah. she does. Yeah. And then, no. of course, I think I don't mean enchanted. to leave you out because <laughs> your your wardrobe oh, also helps. No, but, oh, he, but it helps with your character as well because, I mean, when you're doing sketchy things, you're wearing like a hoodie. <coughs> you're trying, like, you know, and E. Say, Hurley and Queen Helen don't like you dressed like that. Right. No, I'm, I'm also sure. like, why is he sitting there yeah. not in a black tie? Yeah. Yeah. Why is he sitting there in a summer jacket? Yeah. looking yeah. like Prince and Princess. I do. Do you find it's easier, though, to get, like, in terms of your wardrobe, like, you don't have to, like, be constricted, like, like? I like you in your uniforms. I like it when you put on your whole. It's quite fun. The Chocolate prints. Yeah, stuff. I mean. Do you know, honestly, I feel really bad saying this, but I love my costume. I come into work, I see a pair of jeans, a t shirt, and a leather jacket, and I mm. literally could, just walk you, out and yeah. I do my lines and I'm done. And yeah. I feel. Uh, it's you can walk out with your wardrobe. You I can walk out with my wardrobe. I really yeah. don't even have that. I mean, I'm sure you trains. can also, but I feel like you would feel uncomfortable mm. if you're going to like brunch or something afterward. Do you know what? Sometimes in real life, I'll find a really nice dress, and I'm about to wear it, and I think, no, I feel like I'm in character. I can't, really? I, can't <laughs> I feel a bit like I'm in a costume today, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's definitely certain knee-length dresses now that I'm like, mm, no, I feel like I'm at work. I wore that once. Yeah, yeah. I wore it before. <laughs>